Hello and welcome to my Salt EU 49.5 run. And honestly, I wish there was drop the point stuff and just continue on with 50 because it's pretty annoying to pronounce. And they didn't even have the guts to make it 49.49. .49. Such a shame. But that aside, we have a banger match for the first one, because it's me, Don Zippo, of course, against Europe's favorite Reduce player, against the best Reduce player, of course, uh, Sir Panda. And he's actually not only the best Reduce player, but he's pretty much a mainstay in European Top 5 in terms of ELO. So there's an ELO system in place in Europe for competitive place blue. And while I'm saying this, I'm having a very strong uh, present. If I had converted that 2A, then I would have closed out the rounds there. So that's pretty sad, seeing that. But still, not in the worst spot. But yeah, not in the worst spot because you can't just hit her out of the super. Which is also... I mean, it makes sense because you don't want Super to be wasted so easily. This was actually a super nice confirm because getting the charge up with the 6A is pretty difficult for the B Fafnir. Here again. So what we do as Kagura players is we buffer the 6A while we do 2A and then return to a down charge immediately to make this a lot easier. But it's still very difficult. So me hitting two of those in a row is actually peak performance for me. And as you can see here, alone getting this close to winning two rounds even is actually huge performance for me. Because I'm just a measly mid-level terror player who's completely carried by his character. And he is Europe's best Relius. I don't feel like he's playing bad in this matchup. But to be honest, there's one thing that I have is that he might not have. I've got quite a lot of experience in the matchup because another European player called Trigger often played against me. That aside, it's it's actually amazing that I made it into the into the last round. So match point for either side. That's already amazing. Damage! But I dropped. Might have been more in my favor if I didn't. I'm trying to hit, the, to hit his wife, but Panda as the best player uh, just spaces her so well, I can't really hit her. And he clips him with the low while, of course, I'm pretty much forced to block, which is a very tough spot and this is one of the best supports in the game, I'd say. Kagura's JA. It's a lot stronger than you might think. Actually, me getting first blood here is pretty cool. It's this is also the thing about Kagura. So he has amazing long range button. And they are slow, but they hit hard and they have huge range. And he has good uh, stubby buttons, but he doesn't have anything really mid range. And damn, I just rolled over him. This is why I play this character. This is why Kagura is the coolest character in Blaze Blue. No caps.
he's even hitting me out of the back deck, but I believe I pressed the button there. You definitely see the difference, both in characters and in playstyle and in player strength, because when he pressures me, he pressures me for uh, an eternity. And I just have to block, block, and block, and block, and I can't find a way out, and my pressure strings are like a few hits. And then I retreat, because I don't know what better to do. It's actually one of my weaknesses, that my pressuring is pretty lackluster. And this was good awareness because with the sword punch shield dash move Hydra it essentially either throw it or use a low. But not only foot property, it must be a true low. And yeah, he completely destroys me in the last round and I didn't you know, take a match of him, which is pretty sad. But I did play very well, so there's nothing to regret. Next up I play against Toby Sin, a platinum player on the rise. He's currently in beginner pen. So again, we talked about the ELO system in Europe, and essentially there's this, there's a possibility to let yourself rank be ranked lower of an entry, and then you are playing against other beginners, which is very cool. And he is close to escaping this, so he was also rated a beginner, and then he climbed the ranks. But still, my character is broken. <laughs> is what I like to say, but yeah. I'm the kind of uh, of guy who accredits all of my victory to my character, and all my losses are me, you know? Actually, this was amazing, and I should lap this more. Could be a consistent answer. Because that move is kind of ridiculous, it's even an overhead. Also, if you don't play this game regularly, the thing about Platinum is that she has those items on the bottom right corner. And now she's using the hammer in, in the combo. And those are essentially complete RNG. I believe most players wouldn't say Platinum is an especially difficult character to play, but you still gotta have to have the awareness while with Karurad you just need to hit C buttons. And you already make it to mid level. And of course knowing few combos also helps. This is actually one of the weaker sides of Kagura because it's harder stuff to confirm his beef Hafnir correctly if you hit it because you can get 3k out of it which is actually pretty good considering how active it is and how difficult to punish it is in return but all in all my performance is nowhere near as good as it was against Thunder but still I close it out here with the Lindworm, a very well placed Lindworm at that I think I could have punished it with other moves as well but if they had burst, then they would have also been locked out of the burst. And honestly, I don't really know how I can punish the Pogo Staff. It's pretty annoying. And you see here, you see this is why Toby is, is crushing the beginner pen. Because he has those juicy combos and he can also put me into very tough spots. Ah, uh, no, okay, I still get this combo. 
but it's of course not quite 5.2k because I don't use a Fafnir. Yeah, he had to burst because otherwise I would have killed. I beat him with just the sliver left. The power of Kagura, boys. So for this match you might recognize my opponent, if not you can watch the last episode of the... Uh, yeah, I'm, I have no clue how I'm, calling, I'm gonna call this the last episode of my Sorty U runs. And I'm showing you the load that is playing Bang. So I'm just... Essentially I guess I go into story time for this. So I'm a millen millennial, so I was around when the big Street Fighter 4 hype was and I got into fighting games because of Street Fighter 4. But it wasn't Street Fighter 4 that made me a fighting game player, it was Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger. So the very first the Blaze Blue installment. And in that installment my first character I main was Ragnar. But then tried more characters and I landed with Bang for the rest of the game and kept him around ever since. But uh, he became more difficult and more difficult to play, so at some point I really dropped him. I still tried out his files and stuff, but I really acknowledged that that was a, a difficult feat. So uh, I kinda gave up. But recently I just picked him up for fun and I have a bang man friend, you might know him, Ancestor. He was coaching me and then I fell in love a little bit again with this character. But yeah, I'm still practicing him. And I have to say I'm already way better than I was back then. Aiden is pretty much beating me and I don't get any confirms. But at the very least, you know, that's the beauty of playing fighting games. In general, there's so much that carries over. If you're staying within the same game, my knowledge about the Karl matchup that I have with Tagura also gives me some stuff to work with as Bang. So all is well that it's fun, <laughs> not that end well, because yeah, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Here the doll was delaying the hitbox, so Carl got hit too. Do I land this combo? I land this combo for once. No, I didn't. Ah, yeah, that's because I didn't have any nails left. So that's the point about Bang, why he's difficult. You have to manage his nails, which of course is just the management layer. Then he has those four signs next to it, those are the seals. And if you hit any of his D moves, one of those seals gets lit, but only for the move. So now we've got the Zan seal. Those are Fuzin and Kazan by the way, but I don't have the others and if I have all of them I can use another super and essentially for every seal I unlocked I get more damage. Actually getting a yeah, unblockable if I had made a a dash when I would could have hit it. And I actually won this round, uh, this match. Yeah, my bang is on a roll. It's actually fun how wrong you remember stuff sometimes, because I thought I lost <laughs> against him with my bang. Yeah, this was a bad burst, so I could capitalize. And actually, this is so bad, everyone will say this, but um, I have problems doing the DP motion. 
And actually the funny thing about this is that I was better at them when I started playing fighting games. So uh, when I started playing Calamity Trigger and I played Ragnar, all I did was run up DP. And people were praising me for that. So Dyer was a community back then. Yeah. But at some point I switched to a Kate stick, which I use now and I pretty much have problems with the DP motion on this device. But on the bright side, other motions like half circles get way easier for me. So it's uh, back and forth. And also, if you ever see me using Ragnar, I play that one on levelless. I had some muscle memory left for Bang, so I didn't want to relearn this uh, using a, a levelless device. So I'm continuing with the uh, arcade stick for him as well as for Kagura. And meanwhile while I speak, uh, Tatum fighting back and getting the round. Still I need to learn the move names, because it sounds way better if you can refer to the move with its name. And it's also educational that way. As you have seen so far, my gameplay with Bang versus Kagura is completely different, but still the same. <laughs> so I have no idea how to correctly pressure, and instead I run around and and just try to hit them somehow. And for Kagura, this is JC, and for Bang, I use a mixture of essentially JB, JC and JA. And there was a misinput. I definitely wanted to uh, slide there. This 3C is actually pretty godlike. Okay, so I'm right. I actually lost the match. I didn't know which one though. But uh, the last one wasn't saved again. You, there wasn't anything too specific. I used Kagura on that one just to make sure I win and succeeded. Here I am against Kev App, another Platinum one. This is actually always interesting if you see characters at different levels. So Kev AB is stronger than Toby Sin. And you definitely see this in the game. He's using her counter a lot, and he also used the guard crushing ability from her hammer. Hey, actually, I wanted to be cute and not use my common grab there and try to burst an option. It would be in fear of my common grab or normal grab, but instead just grabbed me and I got blown up for this, <laughs> which is pretty bad. And here I get hit by the full super and uh, rapid cancel into 3C, close it, it out again. I lost the match because I was too afraid to do the dumb thing and I wanted to be smart and wasn't smart enough. <laughs> That's always bad. And of course you see that this was definitely something that hit my side because this way to delay get up or rather the no get up is something that pretty much happened because of that, I believe. It's very difficult to not be faced by events like that. Also, very good awareness of Kev AB to use the 6 A there and put himself in a good position afterwards, pressuring me. Here I get the corner. 
but here escapes almost immediately. Again, I have, have difficulties pressuring correctly and keeping my opponent jailed, and he completely made sure that I would regret this. But of course, this was only the first match against KFAB. There are potentially two other matches. If I win this one, of course, if not, then there's only this match left. Yeah, this is also something that I need to lap against Plasnum. When to attack her counter afterward to really punish her from throwing that out. Because that move can destroy lots of things for Kagura, especially drive pressure. If I can make them feel using it, then I have personally one thing less to worry about. But as long as I don't do this, they can just use it and beat me. And you see again, see beautiful pressure strings just keeping me jailed all day long and also hitting me with quite the big combos. I mean, for Kagura, 4.8k is not that much, for most other characters it is. Actually, I did a good job avoiding the projectiles here. But they even got the preemptive anti air there, so that would have been big if I didn't burst. Again, no punish. If I don't punish them, but then I can put it out again. I mean, their ward is pretty low, but it still gives them an opportunity to be on top of me. And I hit them with the European Classic. But didn't continue the combo, but I got the Fly Sweater. Fly Sweater, my beloved. It's always insane how simple combos with Kagura still do 3k. This is also why I believe that Kagura is pretty much the best beginner character there is in this game. Because you saw my match with Bang. <laughs> Lots of difficult stuff that I have all the time. I got a deep set. I actually get this round of match. So we're up to the last match against Cap AB. I wish I had a proper confirm for that ready, but I can hit in very in very different ways. So it's not always easy. Ah, why did I do this? I cornered myself with that. Sometimes I just feel like all the combo theory I know is not in my brain anymore when I do stupid stuff like that. I mean, this is definitely a blocking game, not a fighting game at this point. But I actually use a system mechanic I underuse, which is the alpha counter, which essentially makes you push away the opponent for 50 meter, but could also be baited and punished, so not always the best, but it can be very good. Careful be with the big boy platinum combos. Actually, this is so bad, because I believe I could almost get the same damage without the reset, but the reset works pretty often, <laughs> for whatever reason. People are not expecting me to reset there and then I go for the common grab. I 
Actually, this round is not looking bad for me. I don't know if the first was good, but at least I kept myself from getting into the corner. They even use that drive right now, and I'm not sure if they completely missed out on me already bursting, or if there was just something that they needed to do the for the combo to work. Anyhow, this was the last match of my uh, run in Salty U 49.5. Hope you had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment also about whatever type of content you want to see. And maybe we will see each other in tournament. You can find the link in the description. So, until then, bye bye